Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the vlog and happy birthday if today is your birthday. If you hear Connor in the background, he's on a call right now. Mm. Oh, this is hitting the spot today. By the way, I always get comments when I use my Les Mis mug and love that for us that everyone is into this. This is from when I saw it on Broadway in like 2014, 2013, something like that. But for the last time it was on Broadway, I saw it. <laughs> so happy Thursday, everyone. Um, I'm about to dive into some editing here, so nothing new. Uh, this afternoon I have a ton of shooting to do with um, Alex. We're shooting a ton of brand stuff that I have to submit as well as just some sort of general photos from my Instagram. So really I need to like front load this day with as much work as possible. And then tonight Connor and I are doing a really fun at home date night. We're gonna make our pad thai and then we are going to watch the In the Heights movie. So it just came out on HBO Max today. Ooh and I'm so excited. It's taking everything in me not to just like off work and watch it during the day today. <laughs> I feel like we've waited so long to watch this at this point because it was supposed to come out last Christmas and then they insisted that they were only release it in theaters and not on a streaming app. And now here we are with them releasing it on a streaming app. They should have just done it in December. <laughs> well, a lot of Broadway talk at the beginning of this vlog. I love it. If you guys have seen In the Heights, let me know what you think down below. I'll be obviously reporting back with what I think after we finish the movie. I'm also, oh, Dare I say equally excited, but impossible, so almost equally excited, as excited for uh, our pad thai, because it's been a while since we've made it, and oh, I just love it so much. Anyway, let's end this clip, because Connor's like on his call anyway, and I don't want to disturb him with my like rambling on, but I will check in with you guys when I finish editing my vlog. Coming in for cuddles, while mom edits. <laughs> huh? Yeah, you're just trying to inch in closer and closer. All right, go ahead, climb right in. That's fine. Come on, are you gonna sit down or not? <laughs> on your kisses for Coco. <laughs> Come on, make a decision here. Let's see. 1 p.m., I have an hour until Becker's gonna be here to start shooting, so gotta get some lunch in me and then figure out what the heck I'm gonna even shoot in. I have not even thought about outfits. <laughs> do my makeup, like get fully together. It's a lot to do in just an hour or so. I think leftovers for lunch will definitely be the move. Pasta. Okay, just finished packing up and getting all of my outfits together to shoot. We have a lot of stuff to shoot today. I'm wearing this little dress here, old Forever 21, but this is just for a little like branded shoot, so I figured something older is fine because it's not really about the outfit, it's about the product. <laughs> okay, this first shot that we're getting is gonna be like a little picnic setup stitch, so I'm just gonna set up a mini fake picnic over here. <laughs> When you go to picnic. <laughs> so weird, but it'll look cute in the photo. <laughs> look at that light. Oh, it's gone now. But I got, ooh, nice little sun glare situation. <laughs> so we are off at our next location now. There's just this really cute little alcove here on Main Street that I've been wanting to shoot in. So here we are. Interesting. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Made it back home, such a successful shoot day, but oh my gosh, I am so tired. We got so much content and uh, there really is like, I know it sounds dumb because I'm literally like taking photos and just whatever, but it really is sort of exhausting to like pose and get changed a million times and I don't know. I know that sounds stupid, but <laughs> it always makes me really, really tired. Glad to have that over with and ready to enter relaxation. Ooh. Well, let me see. Campus Oaks. Mm. So Connor, I don't remember if you guys, you guys probably know this, yeah. but Connor's parents got him this wine subscription for Christmas this year. So every month we get a new wine to try. Today's is Campus Oaks. It's in Old Vine Zinfandel. 2016. Mm. Nice. So I think we're gonna crack open one of these, decant it. I'm gonna go like get comfy. I swear I'm gonna take my makeup off now. That way I don't even have to deal with it later before bed because I hate doing that. <laughs> 
And uh, then we are doing our little at-home date night. It's gonna be Ooh. very fun. Oh yeah, look at how beautiful that looks. Mm -hmm. Mm, I'm very excited to try this guy. Give me all of the wine. Get out of there. Every drop. Every <laughs> drop. <laughs> Just got comfy and now I am working on taking my makeup off. I've been breaking out so much lately, guys. I'm starting to freaking nuts so. out. I'm just trying to be patient with myself and my skin, but so annoying. <laughs> it really is. By the way, I always have my reusable cotton swabs linked down below. If you're ever curious, want to check them out. Oh yeah. They work super well. I actually have two packs of them just because I don't do laundry often enough. And um, yeah, you just throw them in like the little laundry bag that it comes in and with like the rest of your clothes and everything gets nice and clean. They'll come out like a little stained, but they're totally clean, so. And I just use them with my micellar water because that's really the only thing that I use cotton swabs with. Even like my toner, I just put it into my hand and then apply it to my face that way. Actually, while we're here with like a nice clean face, I sort of want to try this hack that I saw on TikTok. Um, oh my God. Basically, it's about like how you store like some congestion under your chin here. So a lot of times you see like a little pocket under your chin. It's not like a double chin. It's literally just congestion build up there. And I get really congested, especially right now. It is allergy season. I am sneezing up a storm. Uh, so I am sort of curious to try it. So basically what you do is like grab here and you just like pull down your chin and all the way back here. You, know, you can like feel it going down your throat. What do you guys think? I feel like I'm, there might be like a slight difference there. I feel like you could also probably do that with like a gua sha stone. I don't know. I can't tell if it really made a difference. It's not like I have like a huge pouch here or anything, but hmm, I don't know, maybe. I should try it like first thing in the morning maybe and see if if that makes a difference i have no idea if it will but that's when i'm, I'm like the most congested when i first wake up here you go my love thank you baby i appreciate it happy date night happy date night should we try it to you to you <laughs> bringing it back mm -hmm. mm. oh i really like that Ooh, very nice i like how it kind of taste a little more fruitful at the start, but when you like let it sit for a sec, there's a more like smooth flavor to yeah, it. Yeah, totally. It's good. I like it. Well, I uh, cut up some tomatoes for us Those and put some snack on burrata. Us. Looks so good. And we'll put old steady hands on the duty to pour it. Here, we'll switch. Tough, eh? There you go. There we go. Just that easy. <laughs> Just that easy. All right. Thanks, Con. Perfect little treat. No problem. Looks yummy. Mm -hmm. All right. So at this point, we got the sauce ready, and it tastes fucking good. It tastes amazing. I'm it really excited. does. Sweet with a little heat. Got the tofu ready to go. Check out that tofu, you guys. Wow. We just hit it with some of our sauce. We're letting it sort of caramelize under the tofu now. Woo-wee! Yeah, that's good. All right, and we have pretty much a finished product here, just heating up. We went back and made a little more sauce because, you know, we like it saucy, especially with the sauce queen. But, uh, yeah, like, look at that. It is looking good. Okay, finished product. Looking amazing. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is seriously the best meal. So mm. freaking excited. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. Yummy. Should we do a taste test? Yeah, let's do it. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. <laughs> we did it again. Mmm. Oh my god. That is so good. Everyone it was spicy now. at home, try it. Vegan <laughs> hot for food pad thai. 
It's better than any takeout you've had. It's so good. <clears throat> oh yeah, it does have some kick. Ooh, Love it. I did a good amount of watch at the end there. <laughs> you did too, cause I did at the end too. <laughs> that's where that's coming from. <laughs> I love that we both don't say anything. We're like, yeah, I could use a little bit more. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited for our viewing pleasure tonight as well. Mm. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. All right. Let's in the get in the mood. Oh, I am so excited. Yeah, Hamilton really set the bar high for movie musicals, so I'm excited about this. Hell yeah. And I like that you don't know this one that well. Yeah, I don't know it super well, so it'll be really fun to watch together. Wow. Anthony Ramos looking amazing. I'm so excited for him and like his moment in this movie. It's going to be so good. Are you ready for this? I think so. Oh, here we go. Oh. Dun, 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 dun. Oh. You're right. We need to turn it up. <laughs> that oh is what I said. Oh my gosh. Don't want to leave you guys hanging at the end there. I have to share my thoughts on In the Heights. Um, first of all, needed to say, loved it. I thought they did a really, really good job. I mean, overall, it's just like a cute movie, but I think that's like the storyline. It's it's just sort of like a, a very cute storyline. It's nothing too deep or anything, which definitely are my favorite kind of musicals or things that are like pretty deep and dark, <laughs> like dark musicals, better than happy ones personally. But uh, I thought the cast was freaking incredible. It was so good. Anthony Ramos killed it. He just has such like a cool like swag about him. He's just has just that something, that little something. And it's so good. Hi Molly Cat. <laughs> Molly, what do you think about In the Heights? You liked it? Molly loved it too. <laughs> but yeah, definitely think that it was really, really well done and we'll be watching it again. So in case you're wondering, it's free on HBO Max. Honestly, if you're not into musicals, I don't know if this is the one for you to watch. Uh, you know, I would definitely recommend watching, you know, Hamilton on Disney Plus before that if you're not a musical person. Hi, <laughs> just curled up here. But anyway, that's just some general thoughts. No spoilers. Um, everyone's voices were just so good. I was dying. I like cried right in the first like 10 minutes, not even because of something that was happening in the storyline, but just because I miss theater so much. <laughs> Literally tears just being like, I love musicals. <laughs> so that's where we're at. This was a very musical heavy vlog that you just watched there. So hope you enjoyed it anyway, and I will see you in my next video.